Well, hey folks, how's it all going? And you're going, hey Tom, what's going on with your shop vac there? Well, there's there's my old rigid uh, shop vac. This one is at, at least 10 years old. It, it had the one where you could take off the, and turn it into a leaf blower, that, that whole thing. And it, and it, so what I wanted to do here is I've decided here in the shop that for dust collection, I am going to just stick with a shop vac. And uh, the great thing about this is that it, what it allows you to do is to collect everything within that bucket. So this, this is a, a Cyclone, and it's sold at Home Depot. And uh, it, you can see it's supposed to collect 90%, uh, 99% of dirt and debris before it ed enters the shop vac and gets in the filter there. So uh, we're going to actually try it out. So you have to stay tuned and watch that. But this is a cool little project here, and I, I really think it's going to work out great. Uh, I tell you what, why don't you take a look at how I made this, and at the end we'll show you, does it really work? All right, folks, let's get going here. You see we've got my old uh, rigid 201 blower back. This is the one where the top actually comes out. You can turn it into like a leaf blower. Uh, this thing is, uh, it's performed flawlessly. I, I here lately, eh, it's smelling a little bit when it's like a burning, like we might have something burning in the mortar there. But cleaned her out real good this morning. Put a new filter on there. And uh, here, here's the dust stopper from uh, Home Depot. There's a lot of these on the market, uh, cyclones and everything. This is kind of what it looks like. You got to get a Homer bucket here if you want to know what it costs. Here's here's what it costs me. Uh, the dust stopper, and that comes with. I like it that it comes with the um, the hose and the 90 degree elbow on that. So this was uh, 40 bucks, and then the Homer bucket was three and a quarter. So uh, I'm, there's a lot of different variations, and everybody's done something different. I want to try and keep this as uh, simple as possible. So let's. Uh, Let's dive into it. All right, so we already kind of got a dilemma out of the box. This is what it looks like. And uh, that's kind of the cyclone. I, I didn't expect that. That's, that's how it kind of works. It comes with this additional hose. Now this is supposed to, and here's the instructions. You kind of get a little bit better idea uh, on how this works. I don't think this is meant to work with this type because our fittings, this is what went in to that so this now has to go into this and it don't fit uh however hang on let's let me get something else here all right so that's this is where you collect the dust into your five gallon bucket now my my old uh, rigid came with this adapter that adapter fits in this end and then it fits in here aha problem solved got another problem so at the top, you have to make a connection from your, goes in the top, and then this end goes into the shop vac. Let's take a quick look at that. So this would be the end that's supposed to go in the shop vac, and uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, not big enough. So I, I don't know, maybe i got to run back to Home Depot and see if there's some sort of adapter I can get for this to make it fit into... Uh, in, into that so uh, <laughs> stay tuned all right on second thought we ain't going back no stick in Home Depot we're gonna make this work ourselves uh, I read the instructions again this is supposed to be for any any one that has a two and a half inch diameter hose and you can see we are uh, well if you go up to the one mark here we're two and three quarters uh, one of my uh, things just fit really nice in there so what I'm going to do is, uh, we got the tools, we got the knowledge, folks. We're going to make ourselves a template out of, out of this portable board. We're going to make ourselves an adapter to put in, in the, uh, in the, to make up the difference, that quarter inch. And uh, tell you what, let's get going on that. All right, so the wheels are turning. I'm not going to use particle board. It's just going to be too thin. Uh, I've traced out uh, for the outside. I'm going to use my scroll saw. I'm going to do that at a bevel, though. So this will act like a cork and will seat in that hole a little bit better. Then I do have a bit. It's not two and a quarter, but it's two and an eighth. So I'm going to drill that first. And I'm going to sand just uh, the inside of it or take a rasp or something just to get it good enough for the holes to fit in there. Once I'm happy with that, then I'll cut this outside out. And like I said, I'm going to do it at an angle so it fits in there like a cork. And in theory, that should work. All right, so we're going to set up in the little win 8-inch drill press, folks. I, I don't know what I've... I, I had a floor model, a big drill press at one point, and uh, 
moved from that house, I lost the shop, uh, and now I'm just kind of got a shop going again and I'm buying all these smaller bench top stuff. So this is the biggest hole I've ever drilled with this uh, little drill press. So I have no idea how it's gonna go. So let's, uh, let, let's find out together, shall we? Well, didn't like that. Didn't like that either. Maybe we should uh, redo the belt either. All right, so I redid the, the spindles there. I got it at 740. And let's see, let's see how that works. Slower. You get the idea it's working it's an $80 drill press so we'll finish this up and give you a look see all right remember we needed to get that hole a little bit bigger and I've got like a, a rotary rasp in uh, my uh, cordless here and you just... just keep going until we can get this a nice tight fit which we're getting we're getting there. That's about it right there. So, um, stay tuned. All right, so we got the inside hose to fit and uh, nice and snug. So now we're gonna concentrate on that outside. All right, so the plan's changed. Um, I'm gonna take advantage. I, I'm really paranoid about cutting and only having, the, the wood is gonna break eventually. If I had some nice hard oak or something like that, it would probably work. But I'm just gonna leave my wood like it is I'm going to do some notching here. It's going to fit on the outside, and from the inside, I'm actually going to take two two uh, sheet metal screws and attach it to this. And the suction alone should make a nice tight fit. And actually, if you want to put, we could put a bead of silicone around here, and that'll give it a really nice tight fit. We might do that also. But I got to cut a little, few little notches out for here and here. So we'll do that. We'll go ahead, uh, should do that on the scroll saw. All right. Get a cutting. The other side done, we'll give you a look see. All right, so there it is all cleaned up. I'm much happier with this instead of trying to make something to fit inside there. And this is just gonna fit on just like that. And I had the opportunity to put uh, two sheet metal screws coming in from the backside of the plastic to hold this in. And like I said, if you wanted to put a little silicone bead around there to tighten things up, uh, you're more than welcome. I don't know if I'm gonna do that or not, but I, I'm gonna uh, get going on the rest of it. Uh, I'm probably gonna seal this off, maybe put a little paint on it, make it look a little slicker. and. Uh, We'll keep on going here. All right, so I removed the wheels. They were getting old anyway. Like I said, I've had this thing for a couple years now. They still work, but I, I've got some better wheels here that I want to put on there. So this is kind of the configuration that I'm thinking of. I'm going to use a piece of park board, melanine, and I'm going to cut a platform on the bottom and I'm going to attach my four wheels to. And then uh, I'll just shoot some screws, sheet metal screws into that melanine, a little bit of silicone on it to keep a nice tight fit. And I left the tool holder on the back which will be just fine and then i think i'll cut a hole for the five gallon bucket to fit snugly in that way you can remove it in or reduce some of the weight and uh it's uh the only thing is is that hose now with that hose is too long so we, we might have to address that uh with some different plumbing parts or cut it and see if we can't get that adapter in there i don't know i've never done that it doesn't look like it's meant to meant to happen but well uh let's make the base first one thing at a time all right so there's our melanie we've got everything laid out how we're going to cut it oh uh, we've got 40 inches uh length and 24 inches wide obviously we're going to put a taper on there that's the hole for the bucket and then we round it off the back to match the same as the uh dust collector uh, tool thing that sits on the back so uh we'll get a cutting
All right, folks, use the scroll saw, use the uh, table saw, get everything cut off. This is where the bucket goes. Fits in there real nice. And it ain't gonna go nowhere. And I'm gonna put a couple pieces, uh, two pieces of one by going across underneath. And that's what our wheels are gonna attach to. And it'll get a little bit more support to this melanin. All right, getting there, folks. Got the one bys on there, screwed down, just using the, some uh, drywall screws, uh, quartered ones. And I'm putting screws in, uh, but uh, I need washers on them too. In order to, so they don't uh, so they fit right in the holes and uh, we'll keep on going uh, give you a couple more look -sees. all right I know I said I was going to attach the bucket here with uh, some sheet metal screws through the bucket and put silicone but I, I just uh, ever since I told you that is I no, that ain't right so through the plastic here I've taken some uh, I've got some four inch legs left over from another project so I've just shot one and two in there and that is and it goes right in through that melanin into that uh, one by that I've got underneath and it ain't going nowhere. All right, so we're installing the adapter plate and you, you just, uh, you're probably wondering what this is. I was paranoid about only these two screws right here. In fact, the more I think about this, I had some eighth inch diamond plate I could have made this template out of and probably would have been better, but cut the wood already, we're gonna use it. So what I did is I took a little block of wood and from underneath, I put a screw Put a sheet metal screw up to hold this and now i've got uh, this screw this screw this screw i'm gonna take this off i got them all pre-fitted now and in there i'm gonna take them off and i've got a little bit of sealant that i'm going to put on there to form a gasket like i said i want to get this as uh, airtight as possible so uh <laughs> this is turning into a whole lot more than i ever anticipated when i started this uh today so let's uh keep on rolling all right let's fire it up and uh see what happens here Let's see where I took the hose off and everything and see where it all went and now uh, sure there, there it all is in the bucket. Let's see what's in the let's see what's in the shot bag. Now the nice thing about like I said the design here is that you just pick it up then carry it out. It's back in like that. Let's uh take a look inside the shop vac itself since we're here. empty so it does it work yeah it works folks uh, I tell you what uh, oh, give me my final thoughts so final thoughts folks uh, does it work yeah it does uh, and like I said this is gonna be a lot cheaper than uh, putting in a dust collection system uh, you know it does make it makes things a little bit more bulky uh, but uh, the addition of the new wheels down there and she rolls uh, rolls real nice now uh, it does, you know, the carry it around is probably a little bit more difficult, but you take the five gallon bucket off and you can, it only adds a couple pounds that, uh, that uh, particle board ain't that much. So let me know your thoughts. Would you try one of these? Tom Horseman of YouTube, folks, I just showed you how to make it work with, with any shop bag. Uh, thumbs up and always appreciate your comments. And I also appreciate you watching and subscribing. Thank you.